Hey, it's Michael Saul, also known as Tiny. This is the market video for the week of July 21st, 2014. Uh, first and foremost, my heart and my prayers go out to the families of those lost on the Malaysian airline flight that was shot down this past week. And uh, also, uh, you know, I am praying for a peaceful resolve to the situation in the Middle East. Um, I don't... I don't know if that's too late, too little, too late, as far as that's concerned. But um, you know, if there could be a peaceful resolve there, that would be great as well. I mean, the less lives that are are hurt and injured, the better, in my opinion. But you know, I don't really talk politics or anything like that on this uh, video, and I'm not gonna now. I'm not gonna give my opinion on what's going on or anything like that. But. Um, you know, my thoughts are, are to everybody to, to stay safe and hopefully this, you know, gets resolved as quickly as possible. Anyway, let's take a look at what happened in the market last week. And the market is now in a, a channel here. I don't really have the other line drawn in. I could just parallel it and it's not really a great channel. It doesn't look, but I mean, you can see it's, it's in a pretty orderly move here. Um, on Thursday, we had the down day after the Malaysian flight went down and then they reported that it was a surface to air missile or whatever it was, it was shot down uh, but we recovered most of it on friday okay uh we gapped up and we kept going i mean I, the trend is still higher um i still believe we're going higher i do not believe that geopolitical issues outside of the united states and i know i'm not being not trying to diminish what's happening in other places uh, around the world but unless it happens here in the states i mean it's uh, usually the effect is not long term all right whether it's economic or terrorist or whatever and i mean i think friday showed that I mean, they just snapped it right back all right i still think we're going to new highs i still think we're going to try to break higher here dow similar it was an inside candle but it uh still looks like it's moving higher mid caps they rotated off of the 50-day moving average they look like they're trying to bounce uh the small caps ha continue to lag they did hit the all-time high before reversing back here right now they're lagging here but i mean there was technical damage done on thursday with the close below the 200 day and i mean we're still below the 50 day here but uh, any buying pressure will get it up past the 50 and probably the shorter term moving averages too. But small caps are lagging here. Um, the da the NASDAQ, sorry, is not lagging. The NASDAQ closed at a new multi, whatever, 14, 15 year, whatever it is at this point, closing high, right? Not uh, intraday high, but at a closing high. And I still believe that we are going to go higher in the market until the NASDAQ, at a minimum, hits 98.57. And that's really not that far away. Um, so I think that at a minimum, we're going here before we get a serious pullback. We will have uh, pullbacks or maybe even smaller corrections um, along the way. I'm not saying we're going straight up to that number, but until we hit that number on the NASDAQ, I do not believe we are going to see a significant correction uh, or a significant, um, you know, go into a bear market or anything like that, all right? At a minimum, I am looking for that number on the NASDAQ. Okay, so that's what I'm looking at uh, for this week as well. I am looking to, um, looking for weakness, sorry, or pauses for buying opportunities as we continue to stay with the trend. Bonds, Came up and tested the high of their range. A little flight to safety kind of move. Still has a while to get up to um, this level here. And uh, I think if they come in and they and they buy... Um, I think if they come in and they buy the pullbacks or buy the pauses, I think that bonds will see a pullback here for a little bit. But bonds also in a nice trend since the beginning of the year to the upside. So, no, I don't think we're going to, I don't think it's a shorting opportunity just yet, unless you're aggressive and trading an intraday. Otherwise, I think that uh, it's going to be, you know, watch, could going to be continue to watch the pullbacks. 
Gold also had a little bit of a pop on Thursday with the flight to safety, but not really getting that far. It's pretty sloppy here. Watch the 50 and 200 day moving average because if we lose that, uh, 1250, 1240s area would be the next support area. Silver also had a nice move. They're up uh, above their 200. Uh, it's up above its 200 day moving average. Sorry. Uh, but doesn't really look that strong either. Maybe not as sloppy as gold, but certainly not doing anything spectacular. Uh, oil got a bounce, but looks like that, that may be fizzling as well. Wheat and the other grains, corn and soybeans, still look lower. I think there's some nice opportunity here in soybeans uh, to go maybe down to this level down here which is the, what is this, the August 13 low, August uh, 2013 low. All right, so not quite a year yet, so I would watch that. I mean, grains can be nice movers, all right? They, they move $50 a, a point, so they're just like trading an index future, and uh, sometimes they can get some really nice moves, and they tend to trend pretty nicely when they get going. You can see here, you can see here, so just something to consider uh, if, you ha if you've never looked at them. Lean hogs, they're going sideways, but uh, they may be ready to break down as well. Live cattle, they look like they're on the bounce here. Or it's on the bounce here. I keep saying they. It's on the bounce. Sugar looks like it wants to test the 2014 lows. And coffee, got to get through the 50-day moving average. All right, let's look at some stocks. Uh, Google looks like it wants to advance on the 2014 highs and perhaps beyond right, that would be the all-time high all right so watch google here it looks really strong looks really nice here um and uh, i think it's it's going to go higher earnings or not it doesn't matter what the catalyst is guys all right still looks like it wants to go higher apple looks okay it's holding on to the 20 ema uh, i put at amazon i don't know why all right amazon looking good as well all right, starting to get a move up here. Got through the 200-day moving average. It had been lagging, but now it's uh, turning into uh, some good, a good possible catch-up trade. So uh, not catch-up, catch-up. So uh, watch that. You do have resistance up there at the 370 area. Price line, yeah, just sloppy. Netflix, yeah, watch the 50-day moving average for potential support. Goldman Sachs. Looks like it may want to uh, try up to this 175.59 number. Bank of America, yeah, sloppy here. J.P. Morgan off of earnings uh, is consolidating here. So what you want to do when you see these gaps that don't fill, you want to look at these for potential continuation here. So keep your eye on J.P. Morgan. Wait for confirmation. You don't just sit here and go, oh, it's an unfilled gap. Let's buy it. No, sorry. Wait for confirmation. Citigroup also um, consolidating above its 200-day moving average is another one I'd be watching here. But wait for confirmation. Right? If the market decides to correct and pull back, yeah, I wouldn't be looking to, to grab these on the long side. All right, so fi uh, to recap, I still think we're going higher. I'm looking for consolidations and pullbacks here been a lot of questions about the winning edge trade and newsletter let me address that right now we are getting the website up and running this week what happened is uh, my developer who's putting in the membership area the membership system i finally was able to nail her down so we're going to get that done wednesday and then what we're going to do is we're going to open up the winning edge trade and newsletter uh, for a very limited time probably a week or two for free to check it out uh, you'll have to register but you won't have to give any payment information just yet and um, you'll be able to check it out you'll be able to access the site see what the site's all about see if it's um, something that will be a good fit for you which you know, even if you're a, if you're a day trader swing trader investor uh, there's something for everybody in that newsletter so when you're trading even when you're trading options we're going to be putting an income strategy in there as well so uh, once we get that going, I'll make the announcement and you folks will be able to register there and access it um, through the membership site. So stay tuned for that. Have a great week. Sign up for the daily email to receive um, the daily email. Duh. Uh, go to the website. <laughs> Boy, that was really, uh, that was nice. Um, 
so sign up for the website. Uh, sign up through the website, sorry, and I will put you on the daily email list. All right, I'll talk to you in next week's video. Have a great trading week.